ahead and do it. And remember, for those of you betting at home, Betway does have a leaderboard. I just tweeted that out, uh, retweeted on Moonduck. If you've been uh, placing some bets, you should check it out because oh. you might be winning a bonus for your placement on the leaderboards. This is this is just gross, I have to say. The you fans, they have come out in full force. I, the Look, OG I, fans. I mean, this is Look legit, this. though. Naga, Meepo, and Alk. It's good. Yeah, look at this auction, right? We're starting to see the metagame take Ooh. off in terms of how much teams want to prioritize so putting Moonbucks into getting that. that why that, that these cost? numbers? I can see Alliance thinking, okay, maybe if they started 100, maybe they think we'll do 101. They'll try to metagame it with 102. I see how you could get to 103. I mean, they, yeah, they went very high. Break 17 down for me. Where does that number come from? I mean, I feel 17%. 17. percent. Oh, 17. it's Dota's magic I mean, number. Okay. Yeah. But it, it, it's, it's more understandable in terms of the range of numbers that we've seen teams going for. Now that Alliance have sort of gone out there and said, we're going to slam out 103. Right. Now for the future teams, if they actually really do care about getting priority with the pick, they're going to be like, well, Alliance did 103 before. And, you know, the Alliance is going to sort of bait other teams into having to spend a lot of moon bucks on getting so, the choice. So they get... So if they win that bet, they they pick side? It's, it's winning the coin toss. Okay, so, so you get, get pick choice. priority. So, so yeah. can we see what they picked? Do we know what they picked here? That's a great question. I guess I guess on the this overlay, it's kind of... Well, well, we would assume OG's, that it's, it's, Alliance... Okay, so it's OG's turn to pick. OG's their, got their first, first pick. pick yeah. Yeah. So I, I would guess Alliance took Radiant, but yeah. maybe not necessarily. I'm, I'm surprised. This is the, the, I think this is like the first Coddle ban that we've seen. It's such a cheap hero that yeah. we've been seeing it first picked. Yeah. But being banned, that also makes a lot of sense because it's it's so cheap and so good that everybody's going to take yeah. it if you have if if you have the the option to. He's moving on up, dude. He was sixty seven moon bucks, and he started at the the bottom of the list. Yeah, that hero's looking real good in pubs. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, he's all over the that's place. A nice yeah. hero. A witch doctor. Oh, oh, here we go. That's that's going to be nice to look at, isn't it? Yeah, he's walking oh, around right. there. Oh, he's yeah. toting himself. He's got oh. a little drink. He's got a pistol. He's yeah. ready to go. Yeah. All the right. Original. The, the OG custom hero. The gun and witch doctor. I thought it was going to be Alliance that's, or uh, OG that's picking all of the cosmetics, but it's actually Alliance. Yeah. Well, they're, they're down a game, so, you know, they got to <laughs> put the work in here. Seb wants his hero, you know, his tree. It's interesting yeah. that Alliance paid so much for this pick priority because, if I'm not mistaken, on day one, Alliance, one of the teams, they did zero in their that opening series for both games, yeah. and they won both those games. So it makes you wonder if that was strategic or if they went back and looked and said, oh, well, maybe we need to bid a little better. Dude, Alliance is rich. They can buy whatever they want right now. That is also a good point. That influences how much you can afford to uh, wager on your pick priority. Was it, there was there a lot of bounties happening in the last seconds. game? Mm, well, we saw... Did, did anyone actually successfully get a bounty? So they That's tried the mass question. question. I think they failed the mass yeah, question. Yeah, production, if we could get a verification on what was attempted. Um, I, I did get word that Alliance said they were willing to donate 100 moon bucks to OG if they do the for the what was it for the family or the VIP for the fans. experience the VIP yeah, one. for the fans yeah, for the, for the fans, fans that was basically the they want to pay them to try and fight Roche. yes yeah OG says that they will do any they will give a hundred moon bucks if Alliance does any bounty okay. Yeah. Any one bounty. Wow. Damn so they're trying to push them into those bounties. Because teams can do whatever they want with moon bucks. That is the, the glory of Midas mode. If they want to... You can come to us with a wager. Hey, yeah. I want to I wanna go for slip or for pinks. Yeah, I want yeah. all my moon bucks. All in. I mean, that's kind of interesting though. OG I mean, did that because if J-Storm was watching right now, yeah. couldn't they just message us and be like, yo, we're putting 500 moon bucks on OG? They Are could we allowing yeah. that? Or? So originally in Midas <laughs> Mode 1, that was something that Slacks wanted, was this idea of teams talking shit and like calling in and being like, oh, EG's garbage. I'll, I'll bet a 500 of our moon bucks right now that EG loses. Now, didn't Fear come in and wager all of their moon bucks on something though? Some I don't remember how that <laughs> story sure arc. That's went. what happened. He called. He wanted to wager their entire bank on someone winning, and we told him that he couldn't. But I, I think Purge we, said no. Yeah, <laughs> we put some uh, restrictions on it this time because we didn't want things to get too crazy with teams. So we didn't want any uh, intentional throw type scenarios. So we decided to stay away from the uh, all in on on the moon bucks. But you could try paying your opponent to pick heroes. Right? Yeah, but we like the idea of challenges and that kind of stuff. Like, hey, we'll. we'll We'll pay you a bounty of our Moonbuck Bank if you do X kind of thing. Yeah. So encouraged, very much so. And maybe some of those ideas could inspire bounties for future days. Well, speaking of uh, custom heroes here, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, we don't have Wraith King. He's gone. Oh, yeah. We got a oh, different yeah. hero in our Dota game. Oh, yes. what? I forgot about that. The return of the very true king. Very bony. Leoric. Now, no, we don't say that. We can't say that word. <laughs> we don't even really say yeah. the other one. We got, we, we got a couple taboo words, Jenkins. We, have a, just we call him the King of Bones <laughs> around here. Bone Mr. Lord. K O B. <laughs> the Bone ah. The Bone Lord. He's <laughs> the general of the skeleton army. Oh. Yeah. I see. 
Interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. Now, I was saying this morning, that, that sounds like a 300 ping hero. Yes. I think Wraith King's pretty, uh, or Definitely. Lord of Bones is pretty good, right? You yeah, just press yeah. your skeletons, they go. Yeah. You buy Radiance. You, you don't buy, have too many spells blade to mail, something you can, that's. You can just shift cue yourself through the jungle camps. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah. Probably like Alt Tab, play some artifact at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't say that word either. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's a hero I'm always excited to watch the Spirit Breaker. This is a. Uh, oh. Whoa! Whoa! All right. Oh. All right. They like couple boos, couple cheers from the crowd. Bob. Techies Tech for OG. So that's going to be probably a Seb tree and a. Well, I guess we don't know for sure, but I would guess. It's called the Seb tree, right? Yeah, and Socks will be playing the, uh, the Techies. I think so. It's got to be. Could, could be No Tail, too. I could see that happen in Socks. Actually, plays the five. I, I have seen people play Techies as a position five yeah. qu quite a lot. Is it recently. good? It's actually really good. Because you, you can keep suiciding and bringing back regen for your carry. That's, That's so much it's, damage. It's, it's legit, and and then you know you're pulling. You have this like long attack range. You can beat the crap out of people in your lane. It's it's actually legit. Now that's an interesting use of techies. Using suicide to become the second courier. It's like it's kind of like Abaddon. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, when he was played like with the mist coil. Ten yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh, Alliance looking like a TI3 draft here. The high Nine ticket life stealer. Loda life stealer. Legendary. Life -stealer. Almost as legendary as the Loda sphere itself. I mean, as we mentioned a few times, the coolest thing about Midas mode is that these heroes that are expensive now, as they go unpicked, will start to become more cost effective. So it varies over time. Life at 192, he's expensive, but for how good he is, I feel like that's actually a, a, a pretty value snag here for Alliance. Yeah, I, I would say that's. Would you say that's more value than the Wraith King being 192? Uh, I was, Which I, would you be more happy I was actually going to say, I find it funny that they're yeah. almost identical prices. Yeah. They're like almost identical heroes. I feel they, like they the, do the exact same thing. I, I'd say the Life Steal is more value. Would you, who would you feel happier paying I for, think, for I that think, price? I think pr prior to the like skeleton nerfs where they re reduced the HP, Raid King was a better life stealer. But I think now life stealers are better Raid King, yeah. especially against the techies. Yes. Like yeah. you wanna you wanna run in and you know. Yeah, that's true. The the yeah. rage has less of a cooldown than the ultimate. And I think it's also extra oh. value when you've got a spirit breaker oh, and a beastmaster. Oh yeah, they infest bombs. Yeah, but. Super value at uh, 13 moon bucks for a chaos. So what's going on with this? Yeah, where is this guy going? going? Is this? <laughs> it, it can't be a support CK. I think it's more likely to be what, a carry CK and then like an off lane Wraith King. Or probably an off lane. Have... I would say off lane CK is more likely. It would okay. be like a three CK, a four tree, a one uh, on the uh, the Wraith King, and then five techies and a, a, a mid left. That's my guess, that, at least. That sounds reasonable to me. I, I have no idea because it's OG. Yeah, the yeah, thing that true. sounds reasonable is usually wrong. <laughs> CK is just is so good with that. Uh, the like sustain in lane. It's, yeah, it's one of the the best. Right. In terms of just being like, I, I guess by that metric, maybe uh, he should be the one who lanes with the techies, right? Because you need someone that can kind of survive on their own, but yeah. also create setups for the suicide. So that would be a really potent lane combo. Yeah, I think I think CK two is like played better when you're playing it to actually like kill a lane as yeah. well. Like if there are heroes that do really well where you're just like trading with each other, like Beastmaster yeah. for example. You know, he just wants to sit in lane and keep trading with you. But if you just kill him, like, it doesn't matter how well he trades because he's just dead all the time. Yeah. CK is one of the best heroes against Pudge. I don't know, uh, Owen, but you, you've probably played the matchup Pudge versus CK, and it's one of the most sure. frustrating things to play yeah. against. Not at a single point in the game can you ever survive his bullshit burst. Well, actually, Owen goes Radiance and Shiva's guard. Uh, I don't go Radiance anymore. <laughs> oh, like you've changed Pudge. it up. Him. His, build was, his build was pretty, pretty reasonable, I think. Well, right, last ban here. Surely you're banning the Chessy Brood, right? This would be a great Brood game for a fifth pick from Alliance. So is there a reason why Brood isn't good here? Ooh. That was what like, they banned they, last time. None of too. the heroes of OG really do much against a Brood, or? They, uh, uh, I suppose you still have last pick mid on OG, right? Yeah. Sure. So you could, you could sure, run some, I guess, some yeah, sort of like you, Kunkka. Yeah. To, to counter it. Yeah, you're right. Maybe, maybe because you don't Or uh, have Alliance not. have the last pick, right? Because we just got the CK. Doesn't first pick get last pick? I haven't drafted. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. No, yeah, Alliance still have last pick. Alliance have got 10 Oh, pick. okay, yeah. Then, yeah. then there's an, an amazing brood game. They could, surely they just got a big brood. I think it's I mean, a good call. Unless, obviously, OG picks some amazing mid that's going to put that off. Oh. oh. Pango's pretty good. That's again. a good, that's a, that's that's a decent brood. But does that, does the, is that going to stop Chessie from wanting to play brood? Or do you think he's going to play it anyway? I think it's just still. He could probably. He could still play it. I mean, I'm sure he could still play it. If, if you're playing Brood, okay. Oh, okay. That's a good. T I was oh, gonna I say there's a lot that. of melee heroes. That, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that is an, a dream timber pick. Yeah, uh, mid timber as well. Yeah. So.
very easy game. He gets he get like I would say that if if you're running like a side lane timber against something like a Chaos Knight Techies, you could feed in the first couple of levels. But mid, like wh which one of these cores is going to be able to lane against a timber mid and put any pressure on before he becomes unkillable? I mean, None of them. Yeah. Can't Pango like kind of still farm shit and snipe like range creeps and I mean he doesn't win the lane, but he can still kind of be yeah. there and do stuff, right? Pango can probably like not die as yeah, well. Yeah, because it's yeah. trying to chase down without the trees and everything, but it's not going to be fun. That's for any sure. well, I mean, he it's the lesser lane. of all evils. Are you going to put CK mid? No, that's no, going to be sure. fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Uh, the the nice thing is though, if you're OG, you do have a tree and protector. So like Timber, the way that he takes towers is he just tanks it and then hits it with creeps. That's true. So uh, yep. it's it's uh, if, if he doesn't have like a full wave of creeps, like Pango clears it, then it's just Timber chipping and he's not going to get through the tree and armor. There's no way. It's too slow. Yeah, I've definitely uh, said I'm a bit of a Timber hater over a lot of these games, but this game I, I do like some of the allies he has. Like I like the Spirit Breaker too because then you can actually rotate uh, pretty successfully as a Timber, right? Yeah. You start a charge somewhere, you see someone in a little position. Come down, you get the kill, you start chipping away at the tower. Maybe you bring in the inner beast, you scale behind the tower with the hawk. Give setup too for, for all of his spells. Like he, Timber's actually kind of, you know, he's got a lot of skill shots. Yeah. Like, if I'm OG, I'm going to be looking for these like huge plays with the invis on the treant to like set up in behind, to uh, scout out for the suicides, for the stasis traps. That's how they're going to win defenses. So remember game one, uh -huh. Jerax was not there. There was a oh. stand in, the coach. Jerax is here <gasps> oh, excellent. for game okay. number two. Oh, that, shit. Oh. Okay. That changes things because I saw that pre-TI, he was spamming a ton of tech. Yeah. Really? He was, oh, yes. He was. Yeah, it's absolutely Jerax tech. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so it's so, definitely Jerax So that means we have a yeah. possibly five treants. I think it's going to be five tree, no-tail tree, yeah. Offlane CK. Well, I have a feeling no-tail's talked about support CK before. A lot of people I've, have talked I've about it. A few talked people I've, I've heard a few people talking about that. So maybe it could be a support. Uh, the only reason I, I don't, don't think, think it is because if you do support CK, you want the eggs. I mean, it was not like the whole point of doing support CK. Yeah, it's like CK, CK Luna or something. They CK don't really out. have a good egg zero. Yeah, I guess that's true. Right? Uh, I, mean, I mean, but then well, he builds like auras. It's like, eh. Yeah, but then yeah. You, I guess well, he ags the Wraith King. He's going to have Radiance. You can micro the illusions down all lanes. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, la they last pretty long, right? The the, ag the CK illusions. They do last uh, What, yeah, what will you do versus time. our three Radiance illusions? You never know. It might be. <laughs> <laughs> I like where your head's at, Owen. You're always thinking creatively. A very innovative approach to Dota 2. It's like a poor man's Naga. Yeah. Like every three minutes, you have like Naga illusions. Aha, you're Dude, it's like a rich man's Naga because you made it all the way through the game with a support CK that's who true. somehow got an agonim. So that's like that's like that's the high true. roller, right? <laughs> oh my! So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm wondering how they're gonna answer the timber saw. Uh, I really yeah. I, I feel uh, like he can run around and take all of these early towers with like an early lead. Yeah. Do you think lane. Pango with the uh, defusal eggs is any good? Is that enough to try and like slow down that timber in the mid game? Oh, uh, definitely in the mid game. Yeah, it's but, super annoying. Oh, it's so annoying. Like mana mana drain against any of these like strength heroes who use mana but have like 300 mana pool. Very very frustrating. Um, as for killing the timber, they're gonna need to wait for like a spirit vessel. I think like the first 15 minutes are gonna be a a real problem. But then again, they have a treant. So yeah, that this is an interesting draft. Hold uh, the line. And of, of course, uh, we will jump into that game as soon as it's ready to go, but uh, we will need some predictions from our panel oh. here. And I, I've become a defector. I, I, after seeing that game one, I don't know how much of an impact Jerex will have in this one uh, since he was absent, but Alliance? Anybody? Mm -hmm. I'm going mm -hmm. to go OG. I think Jerex is the best player on OG. Damn, those, them some fighting words right there. Eat shit, no tail. <laughs> I didn't say eat. I didn't tell it, no tail. Those were your words, Jenkins. That's, that's fucked that, up, that's dude. Those are your exact words. That's, I, all that's I, over I, the line, man. I yeah. think No-Tail is a fantastic fellow. But j -Rax is just better at Dota? Is better that? at everything. Okay. It's the best. Everything. everything in life. <laughs> so <Damn>. successful. <laughs> oh, I've got to go with uh, Alliance again. Uh, I think it's, uh, OG's definitely going to have a better shot this game. I think what, if Anna is playing the Wraith King, he's going to have a lot better time than, than he did on his purge. It's a lot more simpler. If he's just going Midas Radiance, the ping doesn't matter as much. Uh, but yeah, the final pick Timber, and the I think the fact that Alliance spent more on the draft as well, they spent about 750 compared to like the 450. Mm -hmm. You can really feel like all three of their cores seem very strong. You know, Bordog back on the Beastmaster, yeah. and then having this Lifestealer and uh, Timber Saw, great tanky heroes that I, I think are going to be able to push pretty nicely against the techies, especially because they've got the backup of the Witch Doctor with the Voodoo Restoration, a lot of sustain, a lot of push, and a lot of go. Really good in Fest Bomb I think carriers. I think it's a really hard game for OG. I think so. so I think I will side, I will take Alliance as well. Because I just think it's much harder for OG to win this game based off of their heroes. No Not faith to say they in the can't techies? do it. 
Where, where is well, Techie's rank for you guys? Do you feel like he is a, a good hero, quote unquote? Like yeah, if he's strong? yeah, for sure. Okay. I, mean, I, just, I just feel that Alliance have got pretty decent cause against it. I think if I split okay. the hero pool in yeah. half, he'd be in the top half. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's okay. the best way I, I that's think, a, think I about think it. I don't know if he's top like 20 or 30 or whatever. But I, th I think he's like A tier if you have a Techies player. Like yeah. it, can yes. a, it can be a really good techies. And Jarek certainly is that. As you said, he's course, definitely yeah, yeah. he's spammed a lot of times. Yeah. It, it's like a, he has that Arc Warden kind of vibe, where if you have a player yeah. that really knows how to play it, right. it's so much different than your just regular techies performance. Right. You know, what yeah. have you? I think uh, sentry usage is going to be the big thing for Alliance, right? Between the Treant and the uh, the techies minds. Oh, that if they so like annoying. run out of sentries, that, I know it's that's really so frustrating. If you get to, to the draft. 30, 40 minute mark, dude, it's awful playing support. Like, I have to yeah. yell at people, like, stop buying the sentries. Like, I need these sentries. You, I can't have you wasting these things on the other side of the map where I don't need them right now. Like, yeah. you don't have a sentry for a tower push? It's so hard to play against tree now. Mm -hmm. Well, it, like, you literally cannot enter a lane that Techies has been in with, without sentries. Yeah. You can't. You have to have a sentry in the lane or you can't push the tower. Even if you, you have no idea that there are mines there. All right. Now, Jenkins, what I didn't tell you is that in that money gun this morning, I did sneak a real hundred in there. So somewhere on this set, there is a real hundred dollar bill. I'm going to see if you can find it before the next game starts. On that note, game number two, it starts now. Let's jump into it. Uh, Purge, I'll be right back. I need to go yeah, check something uh, in the other room. Uh, the observer will handle it. We got it. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right, we're hyped. So let me tell you, let me ask, do you believe in Techies? Uh, yeah, I think Techies has a interesting place in Dota. Like, laning-wise, he's definitely very strong. Um, the mines can be used in uh, definitely weird ways. Mm -hmm. He's definitely not the most typical Dota hero, but um, if you get used to how to play against him, it's something that's manageable. I, th I think Techies has a good place in Dota, but I'm sure a lot of players will be upset about that. And I guess the big question, oh, there he is. There is our uh, commander of the Skelly Men. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man, you stay out of the hood there when you got a witch doctor running at you like that. Bringing his snacks with him, man. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him go. All right. Oh, he wasn't ready. You see that, uh, that Roche, he's, uh, he's uh, swinging. Uh, he's moving. And there's, right, there's 100 moon seconds. bucks that are being placed down, right? So if Alliance does any of the bounties, Right, they get an extra 100 million bucks? Correct. And then if OG does the VIP experience, they get an extra 100. And a lot of these are actually pretty easy. The not my fault one, stupidly easy. Player who dies first on the team must explain how it's their team's fault they died. First person that dies, just type for yeah. 30. I mean, all right, you're in, you're in base for 30 seconds, but hypothetically, you could, you could knock out both together. You could do uh, VIP experience, die to Roche, Type not my fault. And by the time you're alive, the bounties are grabbed and you just get back to lane. It's yeah. not that terrible. Well, they did make a couple call outs now for the Babe Ruth challenge, I believe. Oh, you're right. Calling out Jarex to die first. And someone called out Thompson, I think. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, no, they're not really doing it, though. I'm so disappointed. The this is my favorite one today. The quack. Is the, uh, it's, really, it's really hard to do the quack one. It's five heroes. And it, when I thought about it originally, I was like, oh, it's not that hard. But then you have to look at the length of the, the true length of the river. It's really far. That's like a whole team for a whole minute, wasting your time, essentially. Has anyone actually timed how long it takes to get from point A to point B? That's my I, question. I have not. I have not, that's for sure. We should, we should definitely do that testing for science at some point. We'll hope. Uh, lane matchups. We got the Timber versus Pangolier mid. Uh, Topson's going to be taking that one. Definitely one of his signature heroes at this point. Uh, CK Techies in the offlane versus a Life Stealer and a Witch Doctor. As you can see, uh, they're going to try to go for some play here. Oh, we'll definitely, uh, we're going to have to uh, steal some points away from OG. Jarek's not tagging up correctly. He was warned. I saw it. Breaking the rules, man. Well, but now we, he's a big old softy, so. That's true. But we, we for, for, from here on out, we should know who he is. We should. Um, I do like the uh, the Witch Doctor Life Stealer, and I think he's actually pretty decent at competing against Chaos Knight. Because normally Chaos Knight does end up just being survivable uh, in this lane due to Chaos Strike Life Steal. But um, having a Witch Doctor, once once you start putting Maledict in in the in line, it's it's completely different. You can do a lot of damage here. It's also just really nice if they decide to get a little bit too aggressive, uh, being able to throw out the cast and just slowing them down just a little bit. Yeah, and Cask is amazing against CK Illusions too, because they stun for five seconds. So that's that's the guy's ultimate. If you throw the cask. While his illusions are up, you can actually just disable him. Oh, oh, oh. uh oh. Tag it now. He's got himself very fire. Okay. He's got to move himself back. 
And that's basically the power of techies. You've got a 300 damage AoE nuke on a 35 second cooldown. The other reason he used it earlier was because he harassed two heroes down with it. And that's absolutely worth his health. So the base he gives him bonus damage, gives him some mana regen, and he's going to try to offset and kill Loda here. Oh, we've got that Maledict over onto What's the up? CK. Do they have enough damage, though, is the question. I need just a little bit more. And there it is. Too early. Or too late. You have to call that one a lot earlier. I believe so. I believe it's, what, I 30 seconds or something oh. like that? Almost kills Lifestealer once Not again. Not enough time passed between call out and death. Yep. Yep, 30 seconds. Good try, though. Good try. Rigged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's flaming, dude. Oh, he wants his points. Here they come. Excellent. I like this. Gotta, he's got to wait 30 seconds. Out. That's, there's like a good like 20 seconds of flaming left. And he <laughs> thinks he's good or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I enjoy this. This is excellent. This is the kind of Dota I want to see. <laughs> Look at that little crest in the background. He's enjoying all this flaming, too. He's got a friend hanging out in the uh, <laughs> worst game of my life. Is he, uh, is he pretending? I'm not sure if this might be real. <laughs> well, maybe we, uh, <laughs> we opened the Pandora's box here on Seb and he's, uh, <laughs> just letting it all. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, without brain delay. Yikes. Brain delay very strong. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I think Techie's actually be super jacked about that because he's almost level three now because of that solo experience. I mean, the morale boost, uh, or sorry, the morale reduction is going to affect his play, but the extra levels oh, could mean Thompson? better kills. Thompson, Jesse, he's got a soul ring. He could try. No, nope, looks like he's going to back off. Got 12 stacks reactive, though. I think he could have gotten a little. Okay, all right. We got a kill. No tail gets taken down by EGM. Anna. Yeah, it's a little it's a little rough to be no tail here because he is the five position. He wasn't able to get a stout shield to start, so the damage he does take is actually gonna be a lot more than normal. But he's got level three already picked up, one armor, one of everything basically. Um, and there's a lot of damage coming from the Beastmaster, so might be scary. But oh, the charge comes through. Roche got a little busy there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey Thompson, what's up? Jesse, he's here. He wants to go for it. I got the little rovers meeting each other. Is he gonna get a one more hit? Can he get there? Oh, he needs a chip change. Too slow. It's gonna be close. Oh, I'm juked. Nice try. Oh, oh, EGM. He's not ready to give up though. He's looking. He sees him. It's really smart, EGM, going for this one here. But the armor, he should be okay. I think it blocks like 40 damage a hit at this level. Huh? Got to hit him two more he's times. Disarmed though. And not get disarmed. All right. Now he's gonna deal damage. It's gonna be close. If all right. Get the all right. Call it. Oh, there it is. EGM gets a kill on Thompson. Why? <laughs> Why did he do this? Why not just walk home? Yeah, no man, I'm confused. Um, but uh, yeah, a little bit of gold and levels all right. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling, man. <laughs> Gas is gonna get thrown out. We'll cancel out that solve a little bit here. I think Thompson will get back to lane a little bit faster as a result, but maybe maybe happy for EGM. Chelsea just being a big old bully here in this middle lane. Seems like a good way to run the timber saw, honestly, because like if you throw him in a side lane, he's he does the same kind of thing. He becomes invulnerable. He gives all, all this lane pressure and makes things hard. <laughs> but against mid heroes, it's completely different, right? The mid lane is just a lot more important. So it kind of makes sense that uh, timber has been kind of popular with this tournament in the mid lane. Looks like we got a charge over into the mid lane. Tops and dead. All right, they're calling it. Here we go, Purge. Let's we'll see if they can get this bounty. Was that early enough? Is the question. I think so. It's taken them a real long time to run across the map here. In fact, if he moves further away, I think he's only helping him more. I have a feeling he's going to be just fine with the shrine here. But, uh, we'll see. And there's the disarm. We talked about this again. There is, of course, Jesse still nearby. Thompson, he's all healed up. He's got the bottle. Looks like they're going to hang EGM out to dry here. We'll see. This is a space, right? This is a space. This time he's not in lane. He's not actually hitting creeps. Jesse says, all right, get off, get off of my space, Cal. No, thank you. That pure oh, they're going to go right back in again. They want it. Jim's got to be careful. They do oh, there we go. There's Bash. Yeah, I'm not actually going to get taken down by Bulldog in the top lane as Chessie keeps chasing around here in the middle lane. It's a little hard for Chessie to hard commit there, but uh, a little suicide in the mid lane as well to kill the creep wave, start to slow things down. But um, Chessie gets the tower. Um, he's really effective against the Pangolier, who has really low base HP. That means the pure damage is doing a super huge amount. So really easy lane for Chessie so far. He's making a case to get picked up by a team, I think, at Midas mode here. Awesome. There we go. We're making careers here, Persia Midas mode. Maybe he's on the team. I don't know. 
I think he is actually on a team, correct? It's, they got picked I, up. Right? I don't the, know. The Swedish team? I Purge, do. you're my analyst. What do I have you here for? I don't know. <laughs> you want me to leave? It's for that sweet, sweet play by play. I get slacks earlier. if you want. He's pretty effective. No, that just turns into slacks and I both screaming the entire time. Thompson's got the rolling thunder. He rolls on out. Autobot's going to go bottle up. Can they turn it back around? Can they get EGM? It's looking like they're going to be able to hit him. And down he goes. Okay. Arcade Rune's still up as well. Um, Ana now doing a mix of jungling, but he actually does get pressured quite easily by Timbersaw. Um, his death in lane, oh my god, Bulldog has a Necro 1 at 7 minutes? What the hell? He's been farming, man. He's Dude, been that uh, is doing stuff. No wonder he got a kill. And this is actually so terrifying as well for Ana, because even if he does hit level 6, he's just super killable with all this mana drain already. All right, Loda, he started his over here. They're going to try to chase after No Tail. See if they can get the final hit. They should be able to get him with that Maldic. Yep, Ake okay, will find the kill now. They'll be able to chase down Ake. Okay. Math quiz time. If Ake buys six tangos and gives three to Bulldog, how many TIs have Alliance won? Oh. I think that's going to be Chessy getting the win here. <laughs> I think so too. But I think our Roar Chaos Knight is not looking low. too healthy. All right, Bulldog Roaring trying to stay alive. But uh, he ends up fin getting finished off. <laughs> oh, <thanks. laughs> Bulldog's face just a hole. <laughs> All right, so that is one bounty completed. Excellent. And uh, that's actually super advantageous for Alliance, too, because OG <laughs> have to give them an extra 100 gold just for completing that challenge. That was like a big loss there for OG not typing faster. <laughs> Jesse's still tanking up the mid lane, trying to force everybody. Well, they want no tail. Go bash into him. Malediction gets thrown out. There's a lot of damage getting poured out here from Chessie. Temper Chain comes through. And Whirling Death. Grape Capri Sun just really messes people up when they get focused like that. You know, the juice is loose sometimes. What are you going to do? Yep. So he's basically just sitting mid, trying to force everybody on OG, having uh, force them to defend this, basically. But they have stuff that they need to do. Like, Ana, he has his gloves of haste. That's it. He doesn't even have, hasn't even started his Midas yet. So the, the pressure on the map that's happening is just insane. Bulldog doing the same thing. Lots of summons on the top lane, pushing constantly. The only person that isn't being super aggressive is Loda on the safe lane. Surprisingly bought power treads on Lifestealer, not a phase boots. It's uh, pretty surprising. I don't think we've seen many strength heroes not buy uh, phase boots lately. So maybe, uh, maybe a personal choice here. Or maybe she hasn't played carry in uh, a year. I'm not sure. <laughs> Yikes. I, it must just be okay. He's gonna go armlet instead. Is probably why. So he's gonna get armor components from his armlet instead of from the phase. So he feels comfortable just getting more attack speed and strength from treads. So this is this is plan here. This timber saw is pretty big. How do they deal with Chessy? They kind of have to ignore him. Basically, he's he's got in the mid the mid two towers. Um, but now that those are gone, he'll have to shift to a different lane. So as long as they ignore him and don't give him too many kills, it should be okay. Feels like this Techies hasn't done too, too much either. Earlier on, it was pretty good. Although bottom lane, Rolling Thunder comes out from Thompson. They have their eyes over onto EGM. They're looking to roll through. We'll connect once. Can they swing it around again? That's a nice cast. It's getting some very value bounces. They haven't been able to quite take down the Spirit Breaker. The roar comes out from Admiral Bulldog. He's going to be able to go take down one more person. Yeah, Seb will fall as they go chasing after the Treant. And the, Thompson. They've been poking a little bit. Seb has been trying to lane sustainably, but a little bit hard against the life stealer, especially with the treads pickup. He's attacking so much faster than normal that he's getting all these feast swipes in. It's uh, actually offsetting what CK can do normally. Oh, that's a good couple bounces here. No Tail tries to keep Thompson alive. Dukes him around the corner. Got the Malediction down. No Tail still standing close. It's like, okay. Oh, there goes Jerry. Jerry dies to Roshan. Okay. All right. Did he type the right thing? I don't know if that was a bounty. I'm there, not sure what there, is, there is one about dying to rush on. There is one about dying. Oh, Thompson. Finding a kill on Ake. Bulldog. Got that taunt out. Living armor getting thrown out on Thompson. He's still hunting. He's got like one more spell if he pops his wand, but it's, it's probably not worth it. It does only get one range creep, but still better than nothing. Did he get the skill? No, he's got one. Oh, he's he's going to go for it. He's going to go for it. Tries to move out of the way. Thompson's going to bounce off the wall. One more hit. See you later, Donger. Uh, Jesse's doing a lot of damage here. He's looking at Thompson. Should be able to get this kill. Timber Chain going through. Does manage to stay alive a little bit longer. And they're going to change their targets now. No Tail getting bashed back as they just continue their slaughter. 
a little bit overdived by Thompson. Uh, Bulldog kind of moving closer to the cliff to make it easier for him, but uh, by getting the two support kills, absolutely worth it. So good reaction there. Um, net worth wise, a slight advantage for Alliance. Um, definitely still winnable. I'm curious what Jarex has been up to, actually. He's got a Ring of Basilius, Energy Booster, Soul Ring, possibly going for uh, his Arcane Boots next, but. It was like rules already. It's uh, Chessie. Oh, wow. All right, there's some couple really nice bounces coming out with the cast, and they'll even go and drop down the Death Ward. They'll cancel it out, but that's a lot of Malediction damage. Not looking too great right now for Sub as he's oh, trying yeah. to run himself away, but he will pop. Yeah, he's also trying to build an armlet this game to try to be more competitive in terms of survivability. Chessie. Chessie, he's chopping down the forest. But Chessie, please, we need more trees in the universe. We'll get there eventually if Notel could somehow get to level 20. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I've, I've played this matchup recently. It's actually quite good when you get the tree respawn. I'm sorry, it's 15. Uh, tree respawn at 15 against uh, Timbersaw helps a lot when you're playing a tree and protector. But, I mean, his game is essentially just uh, cast living armor, try to slow things down, try to keep your allies alive. But the, the amount of damage coming out of Alliance is just a little bit too much right now. Uh oh, uh oh, Thompson. The heels thrown out again from Chassis. He goes, drops the chakra. He's going to have the rolling thunder. Gonna roll around in circles, give a little homage here to Evil Spot. Jesus. Couple of bounces coming out with the cast. Jesse, he's gonna be absolutely fine. Just temper chains himself away. Does some good damage, but uh, forcing out the rolling boulders is a really good place to be. Uh, Alliance keeps doing the same successful stuff. No, Midas is this game. They're all about pushing. It's kind of similar to what they did uh, yesterday too. They like the uh, the mass summons lineups. Got to play to the uh, the fans, right? They found what they like and they're rolling with it. Does, does it look to you like Beastmaster is wearing a vibe? Ever uh, with this cosmetic? Yeah, a little that's bit. That's what I think all bit. the time. It, it, it might be like, like some it. guy in his basement who's like, Mom won't buy me one, so I need to make one that looks, you know? Uh -huh. Or maybe it could be like a cool custom. Oh, this is the uh, rare tops in all chat. Not able to use <laughs> any yeah, chat wheel, unfortunately. It's forced to type instead. Here comes EGM saying hello. Oh, he was trying to get that extra damage with those techie mines. Techie's currently planting a couple of mine mind clumps around the, in the jungle. To even get something effective out of this, but killing Timbersaw at this point is going to be really hard. Um, Timbers got his uh, his hood finished already. Look at that. That was nothing, <laughs> relatively. Uh oh, Jerex. Oh no, Jerex. Sex is still alive. It's going to be the charge in, though. I don't think he's going to be alive for much longer. Oh, oh, look at No Tail saving his bro. He gets a suicide off. They're going to go right back in again. Can they take down Seth? The Rolling Thunder comes through, and they're just whacking away now over at Chessie, but he's a big tanky boy. He doesn't seem to care. No Tail has got to get himself out quickly. Looks like Jerry's going to fall to the Witch Doctor. Ake now gets sliced up. Is he going to be able to take down Ake? Oh, they'll find the kill Thompson, though. He's going to pop to the Malediction, and they need to get that Chaos Knight out. He's going to make it out. I think he had Yules, maybe. It was pretty close. A um, lot of damage, though. Very difficult to fight against Maledic. Very difficult to fight against Timbersaw, especially when he's this survivable at this point. But this is, this is basically what you have to do with Timber. You have to win your lane. You have to move around and make good fights happen to try to buy time for your team. Ana finds himself a Loda. Now Loda finds himself an Ana. Ooh, do you like do you like this item build on Wraith King? It's uh. The old Battle Fury after Midas build. It's interesting. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I mean. I, I was going to say, it's a way to kill Kreese, but uh, Radiance does that too, and yes, a little bit easier. Indeed uh, it does. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, Anna's just kind of hanging out here in the bottom lane. Does have the reincarnation. He's got a passive Midas Purge. Oh, no. In comes Thompson, though. He's going to go. He just jump after Ake immediately takes him down. Nice bash coming out here from EGM. He's going to be able to go use that Spear Breaker ultimate. Bash him back. But Thompson, he's not to be done here. There's a follow-up coming out from Seb as he focuses his down. EJM should be able to find that kill as he charges back over into Ana. There's going to be the Infest Bomb coming out from the Creeps. And as we go, that's going to be the ultimate coming out from CK. They do manage to take down here. Now, Admiral Bulldog has got to run himself into that tree line. He's got to get out there quickly. He's not going to be able to. He will fall as Loda is just trapped within all of Ooh, the root. Oh my goodness, Thompson with the triple kill. The tree breaks the TP, guaranteeing that Life Stealer goes down. And this is the point where CK is a really strong hero. It's kind of similar to what we saw last game with the Naga Siren. A lot of illusions, they do a ton of damage when you buy armlet and treads like this. And as a result, he can just take it to Life Stealer. And until Life Stealer buys some AoE damage of his own, Radiance, Maelstrom, Battle Fury, he's not going to be able to kill these CK illusions. They need the, the Witch Doctor cask is really what they need to stop those uh, the the uh, phantasm from CK from being too much. Uh, apparently, someone uh, bought the crown. <laughs> crown? I just noticed that. I believe that's my face. Is it? <laughs> Let me just take a quick look here. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, that does look like you. Oh. Yep. Moxie's crown. Yep, that's oh, you. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm glad you noticed this while you're on the broadcast. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Sitting <great>. in the back. <laughs> uh, All right. How are the items going so far? Loda is still queuing up Radiance now. Uh, let's see if Anna commits to the Battle Fury. He's got it queued up. He's got about 4,000 in the bank, but he hasn't bought it yet. I feel like we can't cr like criticize Anna for like any of his builds. He's just he's just ahead of all of us sometimes. Yes. I don't know. The skeleton. Ba I mean, this is this is like an old school build. The Skeleton King Battle Fury. He's got a crit, so hypothetically, it's actually not that bad. Okay. It's just that he has to make sure that he can right-click people to make this effective. And the nice thing about Radiance is like you just have to be in the area and you're doing a ton of damage. It's that simple, really. Look at that Roche. He's ready. He wants to go. Jerax trying to fight his way through. That poor little elephant. He's trying to get himself out. Won't be used up. Three heroes waiting for Jerax here. They do manage to cut him down. Look at this Roche. He's just like, let me at him. Let me at him. If anyone goes in there in trouble. What is it? The the cowardly lion from the Wizard of Oz? Yeah. He's be like, let me at him. All right. It looks like they're going to be able to go drop that death ward. This is a dead Hobson. Wow. These death wards have been really strong. The, the max cask build actually quite useful here. Again, good against CK, but also effective here also. Now, here's my question for you, Perch. So there's a talent that Witch Doctor has that allows, I believe, two extra cask bounces. Yep. Is this the game where you want to pick that up? Two counts. If that was, I, I think if that talent was like plus three cask bounces or maybe plus four, I would think about it. But 120 GPM is like insanely good on a five position. It feels way too hard to pass up. I like the theory, but I'm not sure if it's going to be value here. Oh, the battle theory's ready. There's <laughs> <laughs> a dude on there with a beard. I don't know who that is, but he's fighting. He's fighting, man. Look at him go. We got two fights going on. We got one on the low ground with Loda, and on the top, we've got Jarek just getting chased down by Chesiake. And of course, Jerry, they'll find that kill. And the drums are popped, they want Bulldog, they're gonna drag him back, he goes, he deploys his own army, but it's not enough to fight. Fight everywhere, actually. Ake okay, being chased by no tail here. On the other side, they go and kill Spearbreaker, now coming back, looking for the kill. Okay. okay, can he make it out? It's not looking so great. He's getting body blocked by no tail. Oh god, not like this. Thompson joining in. Sonic's trying to help him out. Leech Seed gonna slow him down. He man, this little this little sun and gun uh, witch doctor, he's making it. He's making it. Nah, at the last act, he is gonna get taken down. Spent a little too much mana on Voodoo Restoration, lost his chance to drop a stun as a result. And now ready to pressure more. Jesse has changed his mind, backs off. The old drinking drum of endurance is up on CK with his arm. <laughs> Fabulous. Kind of interesting, uh, Seb not choosing to get any of his talents at 10. It's going to delay them uh, in, in exchange for uh, regular skills and study. I feel like that could be a bounty, right? At some point, just never pick a... Uh... Oh, believe me, I read that comment about 16 times already. Oh, there, I didn't realize. I did not I, read Nor did any thing. of the other people. Okay. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry, Purge. It's okay. <laughs> Topson in trouble on the top lane here. Full combo, got charged mm -hmm. in, happened to farm the same place as Loda. But EGM was ready for this setup here okay. now. Oh, cast. but the cast from the low ground. We got four heroes. He's going to roll right back around. It's just going to go hit over there, grab Grabs up that it. bounty rune. This is amazing. He looks like a Katamari when he's running around with the little living armor on him. Uh, CK in trouble, though. There's the Whirling Death makes this so easy to kill him, actually. He I mean, gets cut, 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 cut. CK's whole purpose is to stack strength items. So if he gets nailed by Whirling Death, man, he loses health quickly. He did buy a lot of items, so he's uh, spending out towards a Solar Crest. I maybe would have liked a BKB instead to help protect him a bit, but I think in a, in a moment of panic, this isn't bad either. They're taking top tower. They're losing a lot of towers over here on the side of OG. Yeah, that's true. But they're not quite ready to fight. Red King uh, queuing up an Armlet next, the old Battle Fury into Armlet build. Uh, that's certainly not really the thing, but we'll see. I mean, Purge, that was win cool. two T highs before you <laughs> talk. Uh, but he's not doing this at T either. All right, they're going high ground. Not yet, he isn't. Time to you, push. Know, you never know. All right, we have no tail in position. They drop a sentry ward. We've heard this come out before. EGM pushing back Thompson. They immediately go get that D ward down. The follow up here is going to be a nice rolling thunder. Can he hit every single hero? No, the roll comes out. We'll keep him stunned in place before Aki is like right on the cusp. Back line though, in comes Seb. He finds himself a kill onto Bulldog. As now the rest of the team is slowly starting to TP in. Jesse jumps forward here again. They're going to try to go and take out the CK, but they're not finding it yet. They get the kill over onto Loda. Can they get themselves some more? Ake hiding himself in the trees, trying to get as much out of this death ward, but not going to be able to do it. Anna finds him as they drag Jesse back. He's doing so much damage though. He takes down Seb. 
can they take down this timber saw? Jerry's still there trying to just back everybody off of Jesse. He's thinking about going back in again, but they will end up losing the Spirit Breaker, and these creeps are trying to help them out. There's going to be the buyback, though, coming out from the Spirit Breaker. He wants to help Jesse. He's got to keep him alive a little bit longer. The Timber Chain, though, going to be able to yo-yo him away as the rest of the team still chasing after him. And uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, run, run, oh, Jerry! They're calling him. They, they think they're going to be able to kill Can they Jesse. go back in? Is this going to be the bait, though? Is this a bait? Is, nope, nope, he's dead. <laughs> Even catching the timber saw seems impossible now. Jesse, you know, the rest of his team, uh, not quite as durable as he is, but they're still chasing him. This is the crazy thing about this. Although, follow up with Bulldog, they should be able to go get that reincarnation if they want it. They're going to throw out the cast. Thompson waiting nearby. There's out the splash buckle. They're still trying to get him. One more hit should. Nope, he's toggling. He's got it. I think he's good. Is he good? No, that's going to be the reincarnation. The rest of the team, though, they're standing nearby now for OG. They're waiting for this moment. Ake, he's fallen behind a little bit. Wraith Fire Blast will slow him down. The Rolling Thunder comes out. Thompson just bounces around over there in the corner. No tail still hiding. Hasn't revealed himself just yet. So pretty good damage output from OG. They're winning now. Uh, get, getting a bunch of kills. The cool thing that they also did, they didn't bring everybody to the top lane to defend right away. They had uh, Techies pushing the mid lane. They had Ana pushing the bot lane. So despite them losing that tier three, they got two tier twos out of it and had a fairly successful fight afterwards. So always thinking of the next step, knowing Ooh. what they can do. VIP experience. Okay. Is it happening? Is it for realsies? They have to kill. I don't think they can do this anymore, can they? I have no idea. It must be complete before 20 minutes. We'll see. <laughs> see if they attempt Let's this. Let's see if they actually read the rules, Perch. I mean, it's difficult to read the rules. Bad enough with me. Oh, quite yet. Anyway. Oh. Ruining the fun. Ruined. Give Roshan someone to punch. Come on. Yeah. Come on, man. What are you trying to do? Ruining minus mode. He's just got to follow it. the rules, man. Uh, Techie's uh, aiming for a... Uh, uh, oh, was right. that just a random bomb kill? Where was Yep. It? There's oh, a, Near Ancients. a very sad witch doctor laying on the ground. Drums get popped. Got their eyes on to oh the Spirit Breaker, God. and he was there a second ago. That was so much damage, actually. Jesse gets a kill in the mid lane. No tail. On the tree. Pretty good boar damage here. Frequent, frequent flyers of wind lace. <laughs> I didn't see that one. I, didn't, I haven't seen that either. So I'm pretty sure that's fly in there. Nice. <laughs> Flexing. I'm very impressed with how creative the Dota 2 community it can be. I saw that when I was in Sweden. Uh, they had all their signs up, and everybody's apparently an artist in Sweden. That is uh, not looking too great here for our friend here. Looks like Sav not going to be long for this world, especially with Ake going and dropping that uh, ultimate on top of him. I, I feel so bad for him. Like, CK against, against the Timber, it actually looks unplayable in a lot of ways. But, uh, especially when you consider how good of a lane that Chessie had, too. Yeah, Thompson. that's true. Well, that's 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 basically. It seems like almost any timber saw that goes mid lane has a really good time at the start. But Chessie's also been playing excellent. That's without a doubt the truth so far. See that what you guys don't realize is Chessie actually called up S4 and was like, "Hey, please don't show up so yeah. I can play. Really I'll give you a hundred moon bucks if you don't show yeah. up." I'm sure S4 could use some more of those. Nobody wants moon bucks unless you're playing in this tournament, obviously. Uh, Wraith King's actually rated by Radiance. He's got the recipe picked up already. Now going back, so uh, this is the OD Pixel build. You just only buy damage items. <laughs> the old Battle Fury Radiance armlet with the Midas. He actually attacks pretty damn fast. This is kind of scary, actually. If he goes like Vampiric or Lifesteal at 25 too, this actually might make sense. As long as he's slapping somebody, he's healing. CK's got uh, Solar Crest finished as well. He's aiming for Blink Dagger into uh, Axe next, actually. See if that works out. Axe could be really good this game, potentially. It's actually quite good on Pangolier. Uh, I, I assume the Illusion's still proc as well. I hear a charge. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, that was incredible! <laughs> oh, God. Somebody, somebody buy that kid in the VIP Roche booth. Uh, the first stone or something, man. Seb gets a kill on Bulldog here on the mid lane. Can't stun the TPing hero in time. That was incredible. Was that like he was charging through? He just charged through and he just immediately got bashed. It's dangerous to play Spear Breaker in my decision. Yeah, well, you know, Trent said it on the couch. Sometimes Roche really has a, uh, a problem with certain heroes. Anna, Duken, moving around. Jesse trying to hit him, but he's serpentining pretty well. There's going to be the Ulzo, dodges the stun. Does have a CK nearby, though. Chaos Bolt gets thrown in. I don't think they want to go for a dive that hard just yet. 
<laughs> is this an artifact related to Glimmer King? <laughs> it is. Thompson. Getting a little cheeky here. Damn. Shield crash drop. Thompson should be fine. I mean, he's always got Rolling Thunder. As long as he doesn't get his chain stun for a long time, he'll be able to survive. Well, they're going forward. They found themselves the Witch Doctor. Ake will fall. There'll be no Malediction. No cast either. Which we said, it's a pretty important thing to have against the CK who's ulted. I can't believe Ana's just functioning oh, with this high ping this game. It just seems like he's doing whatever he wants. The team just dives. He gets farm. He's having a good time, clearly. Jesse in the middle of everyone now. He's going to be trying to whirl back and forth. It looks like Ana will fall. Be right back up again with that reincarnation. The Rolling Thunder coming through as he's going to be able to go pair up with No Tail. He's going to be a war getting used as well. They have to keep going here. Chessy, he's doing work, but is he doing enough work? Oh, this is sitting like a very low. They'll actually be able to get the kill over onto Ana as they get a kill on Loda, too. Oh, the cast, though, canceling it out. Topson going right back in. They're going to be able to go take down Ake. It's a lot of damage. As no tail falls in the back line, Chessy is just cutting through left and right. Topson running into the fountain. Why is he grabbing the P Yes, can he get the TP? Is he gonna no, he's, he can't, he can't do it. Cannot TP. He's going to try to just lead him on a merry chase. Run, Topson, run. Uh, don't run towards the trees, though, my friend. Yeah, he's trying to look for a solution. If he goes low ground on the other side, maybe Chessie can still chase. It was it was going to be tough. But like, or Chessie could use Yules as he jumps, that kind of a thing. Very difficult to chase. Yules has been so effective so far. Seb just TPing for his life. This is all he can do. Yeah, he's so... Oof. That was close. Seb even had to turn on the armlet there to try to stay alive. Gets his blink there. And in the meantime, Jerex is still doing techie stuff, pressuring constantly. Got his Aghanim Scepter finished. Level 15 now with his six mana regen, so he can stay on the map a lot longer. There is an arcane rune available outside of that Roche pit, too, which I'm sure a couple of these heroes would really, really benefit from. Oh, no. I was right outside the base. That's painful stuff. XD indeed. That's definitely a surprising place to have uh, mines, like, right in front of your Tier 3 towers. You have to place those at nighttime <laughs> only. <laughs> <laughs> But this is, this is the tough thing about playing a five sometimes against techies. If you're not able to get a bunch of bracers, then it's really easy for him to bomb you, and you kind of just keep dying. And in this case, he had to get Glimmer Cape because he's worried about all the other problems in the game. I think the worst for me is when you, uh, you're just walking down a lane, you've already won a team fight, you're feeling really good, and then there's just random techies mines in the middle of the lane that you yep. just, you know, you're really good, you place down your sentries right from the towers. Uh oh, uh oh, no! <laughs> that oh, is a, uh, a that dead hawk. got slayed. Immediately. Look at this kid. Look at him go. EGM getting low. Get him. All right. The Infest Bomb comes out. They should be able to get the kill over onto Techies. It's going to be a nice cask boss coming out, though, from Ake. Nope. They managed to get themselves a Jerax. That was Look at Chessie. Chessie's like, oh, how cute. It's a, uh, a Chaos Knight. I laugh in the face of Chaos Knights. He is not afraid of these guys. So oh, he has no reason to be. The Timber Chain coming forward again. Anna thinking about going. Throws out the Wraith Fire Blast. I don't think this is an engagement they want to take right now, though you can see in the back lounge. It's going to be the jump for coming out from CK. He does have all of those illusions. Loda fighting his way through. Chessie's still standing nearby. He has no fear about this. Just going to keep yo-yoing himself around, throwing down the cock rom. They'll be able to get the kill over onto Loda. They haven't quite got the kill onto Ana just yet as he goes and finishes up hitting some of these creeps, trying to get some of that life steal back. Chessie going to get stunned up again as they manage to take down Jarrah. There's going to be the bounces coming through. It's doing a lot of work here. Immediately, Ana coming back up from that reincarnation, trying to take down Ake, but he's getting stunned up. He's not going to be able to do it. He can't find it. They'll get that kill. I mean, Ana is feeling very confident this game, queuing up a Divine Rapier. Luckily, he didn't buy it for that fight, but I, I don't know if I feel good about that item this game. Because, I mean, Chessie's able to, to, to cause some disruption here. The Lifestealer's uh, going to have Evasion Talent pretty soon, and the Halberd. I, I don't feel good about the Battle Fury Wraith King as much as, uh, as, as cool as it is. And Chessie still's only died one time this entire game. 20,000 net worth on him. They don't he's have a solution for him. That's the issue. He that's has a great last pick. That's true. He's got a he's got a Shiva's guard finish as well, so even more attack speed reduction up against the Wraith King. Now they're all dead. Alright. Thompson doing whatever he can. There's the roar. We'll hold him in place. Lemmer Cape gonna get used to Ake, keep him alive a little bit longer. Just bounce into Chessie. Chessie, again, I don't think really cares oh, they hit him all back. too much. 
Push back. There's the Shiva. No tail comes through. They've got the chop room, though. It's being thrown out. Thompson, he needs to get out of their mess. He's got the Malediction on him. He's not going to be able to do it even with that living armor. Back lines, though. It looks like Seb tried to get the jump over onto Admiral Bulldog. No tail now is now left in no man's land. That Yule is going to come out with the chakram. They should be able to cut themselves down to Tria. They'll take down Admiral Bulldog in the back lines, but the cast coming through. And they're still chasing after Seb. He's leading these creeps away from his base. That stun lasting quite a while. Jerry hasn't given up just yet. As you can see, the rest of the team are chasing after them. It's going to be the Timber Chain forward, showing out the Chakram. Anna's joining into the fight. No tail, he's back. He's waiting to get in the right position. Jerax goes and throws out that suicide. It's not going to be enough, though. Back lines again. Seb finding himself that Witch Doctor over on the back lines here. Not going to be able to have it just yet. Jesse, this could be big. Can they get this kill? But the cast coming out. The bounces. The maledictions. They should be able to take him down. Seb's going to get taken for a ride here as they still turn back to Ake. This guy has been surviving by the skin of his teeth. They have the dust, but they're not going to be able to get the kill. Reincarnation coming out there as they manage to take down Jerax. Up comes Ana again. Backline, no tail, finally going to be able to go and take they down got Ake. And they'll finally kill Chessy for a lot of gold. Ten times kill streak has been ended. They'll off. find Loda too. They're not done yet. Deep really, not. really good fight either way. I mean, the oh, oh, they got him! Uh-oh, the easy comes out from no tail. Jerry, get out of there, man. He He's not going to be able to. He is. Oh, it's following He's him. doing it. This man's stunned for as sure. As long as he doesn't run through the Roche what? pit. Oh, it's, <laughs> look at it go. Look at it go. Can he outrun it? Can he do it? No tail gets bounced <laughs> off, too. He's gone. He's out of there. <laughs> oh, he bought the rave view, dude. It's up. It's go time. It, it really is. Especially with the solar crest. This is going to be really scary. Where are my weebs at? <laughs> oh, they're here. <laughs> I, <laughs> they're I everywhere. Know. I know. Uh, it was a really good grab initially on that top rex when they, they ultied the, the pango right before he got away. And crucially, Bulldog did another important thing. He did oh, spell God. Oh, he's going into the They're going. Crest. They're doing it. They didn't announce it. I don't think. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see if they Keep can do it. Finger and on they the go super roach. Super roach. And super roach. There it is. All right, let's see. I want to see someone eat it out of this pit, He's DIP. Stunned so much. Let's see. Look at him go. It's an AOE stun. He needs to go and he needs to grab one of them. Pick him up. There's a big AOE stun. The kick, the yeet. He's yeeted out of that pit. See you later. Go oh, right he might back in. Can he get it? Oh, no. Thompson's going to have to roll like that for his oh, butt okay. out. Oh. It was beautiful. Thompson. 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 He's barely alive. He's got to get out of there. It helped. But the kicks came a little bit too late. That's the first time that we've seen a, uh, a VIP have access to Super Roshan. And you got to be familiar with those hotkeys, otherwise you lose your opportunity there. And it's actually very possible to kill him. It's more of a, it's a little bit better if uh, teams are contesting. Super Rosh is incredible then, because you could get your hero kicked in in the middle of the enemy team, for example. That could absolutely change a team fight out. Now, you, you said, what is it, 300 units? Is that out of the kick? The, the units? Oh no, it's way farther. It's I mean, way you can, further. You can get you, three thousand. Yeah, you 3, can get kicked from the mid, from the the roach pit to the mid tier one tower. <laughs> it is so far. Ooh, Ooh he jump gets caught. Could get. I yep. Back lines. There's gonna be the glimmer cape. They need to be carrying some detection here. This keeps happening to Seb. The roar comes out. The rest of his team. They can't get in there. He is gonna fall. And no tail's a little Chasing bit out of position too now. Yes, he is. He's trying to get himself off to the side. Anna fighting his way through. He wants to get this kill onto Loda. He hasn't quite found it. We'll be able to finally get it. He's doing so much damage right now. He does. This cleave damage is going to be coming right back up again if they take him down. That's going to be the first time. Should be able to come right up again. Here he is. Crit. He's coming. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Nice. As they'll chase after Ake over here on the low ground. They don't. There oh it is. God. He just slapped him in the teeth, and he's not done yet. Come back here, Loda. Oh, man, when, when he gets those crits, man, 2,000 damage. Loda climbing, no tail blings forward. The punch, Jerax will fall to Admiral Bulldog, but here comes Ana. He's coming. You better watch it. Great fire blast, and I think one big, uh, one big boop. All right, Thompson. All right. Radiance Thompson also good. wanted, you know, a kill. And Reincarnation's back again, so he's going to be just fine here, nice and protected. A little surprised he didn't go with Vampora, because I thought maybe it would give him a lot more survivability, but, I mean, the stuns when you when you respawn is massive. It, it gives you so much team fight control, helps your team win the rest of the engagement. Uh, Donger? Looks like a uh, Bulldog. In for, in for some trouble here as they go. They root him into place, and they just give him the old beat down. Uses the roar, though. 
No tail. Still going to be able to chase him after him. Leech Seed. Thompson. It is, him on the nose. It is very difficult to get away from a Triumph Protector. The, uh, the Nature's Guy's cooldown is 3.6, and he also got the roof, roof Tracing increase. That's a 4.2 second root. It's one of the nice things about Tree against, uh, uh, against uh, Timber Saw, actually. You might think that, oh, sure, Timber is better. You're killing trees and things. But when you're, when you're rooting this guy and he can't Timber Chain anymore, it's a massive advantage. Oof. <laughs> Uh, what is this? The Monster Moon Shard. Monster Moon Shard. Oh, okay. Uh, it was, it's kind of hard to tell. Yep. <laughs> they tried. <You> know, <laughs> they tried. Some may try. We are not allowed to criticize unless we can do better. <laughs> it was a good pickup, though. He definitely needs more attack speed. That was one thing he was missing. Oh, boy. All right. Seb has his eyes on Chessy. Drags him back with that reality rip. Followed up with the stun. Nobody has detection ever, it seems. I mean, they definitely need uh, Wraith King follow up for this. He's still got more items to go. Thompson, rolling around in the base, gonna go and uh, just narrowly miss over here on Jesse. This is, this is genuinely just uh, what, what Thompson does best, it's space creation. Um, and uh, the term was thrown around pretty casually for the last couple years, but this is one of the reasons that OG does win tournaments and does do and they do do very well. Just because they need to make the enemy team for, be forced to react to what Thompson's doing, and in the meantime, everybody is getting max efficiency. So it's just a uh, an acceleration thing that OG does very well and helps him, you know, win a lot of money. I like that Jerex has literally been playing his own game while the rest yeah. of the team. One of the many techies complaints for sure. <laughs> like, we're winning, but if we would have had five heroes here, maybe we would have actually won the fight. You got to wait till your team loses a fight before techies feels useful. Loda and Sub just, uh, you know, walking past each other. Uh, they have found Chessie, and there's so much damage. This Timber Saw just does not have the life he used to. Thompson's still going. He's still rolling. He's looking. Watch out. He's <laughs> Witch Doctor's ready to defend, though. Now it's just high grunts. I mean, I, I don't know what they do without Timber Saw for 110. That was the guy that was supposed to be the frontliner, the guy that can't die, but that isn't going to be the case anymore. Man, Coco is on so many weapons. <laughs> it's actually <good. laughs> It's great. He's got Heaven's Albert. He's got the, the Radiance. And the stun. Loda is trying to fight his way through here. I'm not sure. He's trying to just go through it. But doesn't have a nice jump forward from No Tail. Goes, throws out the Overgrowth. Thompson rolling around in circles. Doesn't matter if you've got that Ghost Scepter Bulldog. You're still going to get chopped down. Down goes Jerry. Are they going? They're going for it. They want it. They want Loda, and they'll oh. get it. <laughs> he thought maybe he could. Nope, not even close. Easy man. peasy. What a fight! And, and that's gonna, you know, techies abuser. <laughs> is that is that really what it was? I don't know. Anna's 11, 3, and 22, playing from Australia. Do Australians have an? Oh baby. Oh oh. Are they found to? Oh 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 oh. oh, oh. oh. He almost lost. Look at look at this little legion of just everybody. <laughs> Why won't they ever give up? <laughs> the H -H -J -J -H -H. Oh, I love it. What about the the? They're just standing. It's pressing a lot of peace. That they won't aren't. Take it. <laughs> GG. Are they just leaving? They just left. They're like, all right, let's go get some bounties. All right, they'll hit this. <laughs> So they actually they just got bored. They were dead for so long that they're like, found diving isn't fun unless we're getting killed sometimes, guys. Come on. They're just going to take literally every single building in hey, the face. This bought them. That was a good 20 seconds. This gave us a chance to actually win. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, they still got this beautiful melee barracks on the bot lane for a long time and here. And we smoked the quack quack. Here it comes. OK, it's actually. All right, they're doing the, uh, they're doing the. Here we go. There All right, somebody time this. I want to know how long it takes to go from point A to point B. This is a great migration, guys. As Jerax just gets two kills, just like that. Nobody's nearby. Oh, Youch. Thompson, are you not doing the great migration? What you doing here, buddy? Uh, Thompson. Oh, he wants that uh, that arcane rune. That tasty. Okay. He could have actually gone with I the rest of the team <laughs> and gone together. Guess they just don't want the moon bucks. Quack quack quack! But they didn't do it. You're a liar, No Tail. Oh, I think they're, they're trying to bait him or something. Uh, Maybe. Well, they could also just do the. That's oh. true. Uh oh. All right. Who thinks that Ake okay, is probably very, very dead? These rolls are pretty intense, though. It's a one-second roll. The fake. He still got it. Ake. Okay. 
just doesn't even need to see him. NBD. The drag back. They want Jesse. They're still going. Jesse's begging, please stop. Please. I don't want to play anymore. No. For that root. Uh, they chase after Jerry. Jerry said he wasn't giving up, and he didn't. He's buying back. He's ready to go again. This is taking a long time to kill Jesse because you uh, you don't have Ana there. But they will eventually get this, I have a feeling. They In comes Techies. Though. He wants it. Silence. And they'll slay Jesse. The jump forward into the uh, the fountain. This is not looking so great right now for... Yeah, they will lose Seb. They will lose Seb. They're still just hanging out in the fountain. Loda will get chopped God. down. Bulldog is about to spawn. I think he just, yeah. <laughs> he goes he TPs. He can't. He gets stunned up as Ana just face tanks this fountain. Counter and no tail punches him in the deep. They get that triple kill on Ana. Report dire. Fountain diving griefing. You can give him some hope here. Oh. Where are the item drops and breaking? That's my question. That Blue does. win. Oh, it's on deck. Get it, Ake. Get it. It's your time to shine. He's got it. He's got it. Run in He's the got back. a gun and a Get divine rapier. Here. No. They could have at least let him die with it. Come on now, guys. Had those stats. First time in my life. <laughs> Brilliant game coming out from the side of OG. We get a 1-1. One, one. All right, so we got a series here. This is, I, I'm enjoying this. This is great. You know, I really didn't have a lot of faith in the Battle Fury Wraith King, uh, but he I basically, told you. He basically I told got you. to do whatever he wanted to the entire game, and he hit creeps, and they held, the, I think the, the best thing OG did was they held the top racks in a really good way. They, mm -hmm. they didn't show up with all of their might. They, they split pushed other lanes, they took towers, and then they defended the top lane. So by doing that, they didn't, didn't, they didn't allow Alliance to get ahead. They didn't allow them to snowball into an advantage, and they just didn't have anything that could do enough damage to the Wraith King. He was actually, with the Rapier, he just he genuinely 